Hello everyone, my name is Heidi and welcome back or welcome to my channel here on YouTube, Baby Name Sunday. Now finally I am officially back from vacation, thank you guys so much for your patience. I hope you've been enjoying some of my content recently, but today we are starting off with a great list. And today's list is gonna be unique, rare, and unusual baby names on the rise for 2023. Now on this list, there will be baby names for both boys and for girls, so I make sure I have both. And I have quite a few names to share with you today that are just absolutely amazing. Lots of these are from lots of different avenues, lots of different themes, so let's get on into it. All right, so we are gonna go girl, boy, girl, boy. So first girl's name on the list is Eula or Eulalia, spelled E-U-L-A for a short form, or Eulalia, E-U-L-A-L-I-A. -L -L this is such a beautiful name. It's from Greek roots, meaning sweetly speaking. First name on the boy side, I have Hero, spelled H-E-R-O, Hero. Now this is a wonderful virtue name, guys. This is so cool. I would use this myself, and it's just filled with courage and bravery. On the girl side, we have Callaway, spelled C-A-L-L-A-W-A-Y, Callaway. This just has this very almost songy kind of flow to it. I love it, Callaway, very airy. And this one is an English from Latin rooted name, meaning pebbly place. I have Finian, spelled F-I-N-N-I-A-N, Finian. This is a really cool Finley alternative if you really love that nickname Finn. And it's an Irish rooted name meaning fair one. I have Amoret, spelled A-M-O-R-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Amoret. This one's gorgeous, it's stunning. It's actually a literary name, meaning loved one. I have the cool Finnish name Osmo, spelled O-S-M-O, -O, Osmo. And this one I thought was really cool because it has that Aussie nickname. It also ends with an O, and it's shorter, and a lot of shorter O names are just very sweet and cute sounding. And this one means young man. Now, I have a few actually shorter names here. So I have on the girl side, Wynn, spelled W-Y-N-N, Wynn. Now this one is a Welsh-rooted name, meaning fair and blessed. I think it's super sweet. It really could be gender neutral. Then for the boy side, an Irish name here is Sully, spelled S-U-L-L-Y, Sully. This one also is really sweet, very cutesy and nicknamey, and I feel like it has a very vintagey feel as well, and Sully means dark eyes. Alva, spelled A-L-V-A, Alva. This one's a gorgeous English from Irish rooted name. It actually means white. And I find this more like a unique A name that starts with an A, but it also ends with an A, which is also a kind of trendy trend, that trendy trend that's going on for girls right now. Those names that start with A, but end with A, like Aria, Ayla, um, Avira, what about Alva? On the boy side is Leyland, spelled L-E-Y-L-A-N-D, Leyland. This could also be pronounced, I guess, as Leland as well, but I like Leyland. I think that is kind of unique. It's an English-rooted name. It's also a surname, meaning Meadowlands. And personally, I really love land-ending names for boys, Oakland, Zealand, Leyland. We're going a little vintage. We have Gretel, spelled G-R-E-T-E-L, Gretel. This is, guys, I literally wrote beside this name, love, 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 love it, because <laughs> I love it so much. It's German rooted and it means pearl, and it's definitely a vintage treasure. Another G name here on the boy side though is Gray, spelled G-R-A-Y, Gray. This one is definitely a nicknamey style color name. It's short form of Grayson, but it also stands on its own. I feel like it's very handsome sounding and very studious. I have one of my favorite Irish names here is LV, spelled E-L-V-I-E, LV. -E -L -V. It's so cute. It just reminds me of like magical beings, like elves, and it literally means leader of the elves. On the boy side is Teague, spelled T-E-A-G-U-E, Teague. This is also another one that I have just been loving. It's a Scottish rooted name meaning bard or poet. And personally, I find that Teague is kind of one of those names that falls into that category of like Teagan, Tatum, Tate. What about 
boutique. Z name on the girl side, we have Zavia. So Z A V I A, Zavia. I have mentioned this one quite a while ago in the past and I think it's beautiful. It has that Avia in the middle or even Ava, which you could really use for nicknames. And this one's a Basque, Spanish and Arabic rooted name, meaning new house. Next up is Harris, spelled H-A-R-R-I-S, Harris. This is another nickname you vintage style name that I find you can pull from Harrison, make it Harris, and it sounds a little bit more modern. This one's definitely overlooked, and Harris means son of the estate ruler. I have the funky name Tuesday, spelled T-U-E-S-D-A-Y, Tuesday. Guys, this is a funky day of the week name. I think it's super cool, especially with like Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. We're throwing in Tuesday because I think it for a girl, it's one of those ones that is up and coming. And actually Tuesday is related to the Roman god of war and love, Mars. On the boy side, I have Cove, so C-O-V-E, Cove. This one is English rooted, meaning little bay. And this one's quite a gender neutral nature word name, very cutesy and softer sounding. I have the name Mayel, spelled M-A-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. This is gorgeous guys, Mayel. It's a French or Breton rooted name, meaning root. Ruler. It just flows off the tongue so well. It has just such a nice flow, Mayel. And you can do nicknames like L, which is very popular and trendy, and also Maya. Okay guys, before I move on with a little bit more of the list here, make sure you guys, if you haven't already yet, subscribe down below. Make sure you guys are hitting that big red button. And right beside it is the bell notification so you guys can be notified every single Sunday that I upload. You can also go check me out if you want any more name inspo over on Instagram, which is Baby Name Sunday. I am constantly posting on there if I am not posting on here. All right, so I have my next name here which is definitely very very unique and like I said it's a unique rare and unusual baby names list so this is on the boy side I've been really loving the name Whistler spelled w-h-i-s-t-l-e-r Whistler this one's an English occupational name it's also a place name here actually in Canada it's like a ski snowy kind of village so very picturesque but this one has those kind of ER endings, which for boys are really trending, even for girls as well. Um, but I definitely find that it is a cool one and it is rising. Switching things up here on the girl side, I have Sibley, spelled S-I-B-L-E-Y, Sibley. Now this one is a variant of the Greek name Sibyl and it means seer or oracle. Now this one, to me, with that E Y ending, I feel like it sounds very magical. Sibley just sounds like a magical, like a magical goddess. Then on the boy side is Rivers, spelled R I V E R S. Rivers. This is one of those word names or nature word names that I've been seeing people adding on S to. So I've seen oceans and now I'm seeing rivers. So this one is a little bit more on the rise, makes it a little bit more unique. And I really love the sound of these names with those S's on the end. Island, spelled A-I-L-Y-N, Island. This one is from the Irish name Eileen. This is cool, guys, and it means bright, shining light island it kind of gives me this beachy girl feel because it sounds like island but without the d island what do you guys think about that one another a name here but on the boy side is arlington spelled a-r-l-i-n-g-t-o-n arlington this is a wonderful example of people wanting the longer form of that nicknamey name that they actually want so like arlo but Arlington. I've been seeing this trend happen because you're wanting a little bit more unique and Arlo is on the rise big time. This one's a habitational surname but it's also a place name and I've also seen this with Remy as well. People using Remington but doing the nickname of Remy. I have Macklin on the girl side. M-A-C-K-L-Y-N. Macklin. Very edgy, kind of tomboy-esque and this one means from the linden trees. I also have Emmerich, spelled E-M-E-R-I-C, 
emmerich this is incredibly handsome it's french from german meaning power i love that it's just a very powerful sounding name so the meaning is absolutely perfect and this is another trend on the boy side that i have also seen rising which is that i see ending emmerich alaric auric any of those icy endings are definitely on the upswing okay speaking of upswing guys i have the name honey spell h-o-n-e-y honey this is like the sweetest term of endearment but it's also a food name i think this has this happiness it's peppy it's fun it's cute and it has a vintage-esque feel as well as it was used back in the day pretty frequently actually so this is definitely a cute little fun bright name for your little girl then i have the name kenyon spelled k-e-n-y-o-n kenyon this one's in english or british surname meaning blondie and this one is actually very handsome it has literary ties but it also has ties to pop culture now we were speaking of peppy and fun we're still doing that on the girl side this one is swayze spelled s-w-a-y-z-e swayze this one is english from german it's a surname meaning swiss and like I said, this one just has this happiness to it. It makes me smile when I say it. Honey, Swayze, they have those E ending kind of sounds to them, which makes them have this energy and omen about them that is very bright. Time for a trendy one here on the boy side that is definitely overlooked right now. It's Bower, spelled B-O-W-E-R, Bower. It starts with a B ends in an ER and you can do that nickname of Bo, which all of those are just everybody's been loving and Bauer is German rooted meaning tiller of the soil. Another sweet girl's name here is Elevi, spelled E-L-O-V-I-E, Elevi. This one is just so stunning because it has just sweet nicknames, Love, Lovey, even L or Ellie, and it's a French invented name meaning girl of life. Then sweet for the boy side is Koda, spelled K-O-D-A, Koda. This one is Japanese, Siu, and musically inspired, and it means friend. This one just has a really sweet sound with that A ending for boys. Very soft, but very cute. Vintage name here for the girls is Nella, spelled N-E-L-L-A, Nella. This is a great Nell alternative, as Nell is like a one syllable, kind of short, more harsher ending but i love nella it gives a little bit more of that very beautiful a ending sound and this one's an english form of helen or eleanor meaning bright shining one lenny spelled l-e-n-n-y lenny this is also a great um example of someone making a more vintage name of leonard and using just the nickname of Lenny. And this one's a German rooted name meaning brave lion. Flynn, spelled F-L-Y-N-N, Flynn for the girl's side. This one's an Irish rooted name meaning son of the red haired one. But this is one of those boy names for girls that are slowly rising. I think it's really sweet. It's still soft, but definitely can work for anyone. Now last three names here on the list guys. So I have the name Bear, spelled B-E-A are bear this is the sweetest animal name it symbolizes warmth power very family oriented and health i really love the symbolism behind a bear and it's one of those more unique i would say animal names for boys you see a lot of fox rising also wolf and i feel like a bear is kind of like third place there so it's definitely a little bit more unique and unusual all right last girl's name on the list then last boy's name so last girl's name is ilani so i-l-a-n-i -I, ilani this is gorgeous with that lani ending which is very trendy and this one is actually a hidden nature name it's a hebrew rooted name meaning oak tree and last but certainly not least you guys for the boy side we have the name aizen spelled a-i-z-e-n aizen this you could also drop the a and just do i-z-e-n if you want something a little bit more edgier and more modern but this one's a japanese and old english variant meaning loved affectionate or elf friend i think this is really cool as you can do nicknames like zen but it also reminds me of isaac 
Eisen Isaac. It's just a little bit more modern, a little bit more different. So maybe if you like those kinds of names, this is a really great option. Now that is it with today's list, you guys. I hope you loved it. I hope you love all the different name ideas. Definitely many different avenues, many different themes. So thank you again for watching. Then if you guys are on the hunt for names or you are interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one name consultation, I am opening up my August consultation booking. So I am looking for August. So if you guys want pricing or any other questions you need me to answer, you can DM me over on Instagram or you can send me an email with the email right here. All right, thank you again so much for watching. Take care, I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, take care, bye.